the site, cigarpage.com. Tim, Hal, you. Let's do an unboxing. Yes. yes. <laughs> you are correct. Oh, that's uh, that's fantastic, Hal. Yes, Thank sir. you so much. Ah. Well, today we have uh, something very special. A really, really special box. Uh, Cuba Aliados, original blend from Oliva, made by Julio Arroya and his uh, at his factory, um, and I believe it's utilizing all tobaccos grown by Julio as well. Uh, you may recognize the name Arroya. Um, his son Christian uh, owned and operated Camacho Cigars for many years. Sold it to Davidoff. Came out with his own brand years later, CLE. One of my favorites, love their cigars. I, I loved Camacho back in the day. Still do, their cigars are still great. When, when, when did you give me the... <laughs> still back, do. It was the back, like, was saved it. I was, back in the day. Okay. I loved them back in the day and I still do, but it, like they, that, they were special then. Yeah, now yeah. It's, now now it's like I have CLE, you know, I have CLE to smoke too, so. Um, but uh, uh, his, uh, his father, Julio, is, is doing his own thing with G... R something G uh, or J J J R E J R E J R E cigars not G G <laughs> yep um, but uh, the, the main story here is Oliva has brought back Cubaliados Cubaliados is an old brand it was it was popular but it was more of a, a you know kind of value line type of cigar um, it kind of went the way it went the way of the dodo bird. Uh, for whatever reason, Oliva brought it back, and instead of making cigars themselves, which they're fully capable of doing, they make fully. fantastic cigars. The Milanio, Serie V, Serie O, Serie G, Cereal, Cereal, <laughs> Cereal. Sorry, that'd be, no, that'd be good, Cereal. Um, but the list goes on and on. They could have done this themselves, but they were like, hey, here's an opportunity to uh, collaborate with some people that are in the industry that we've wanted to work with for years. Um, Cuba Aliados has a history in Honduras because uh, Puros Indios uh, was the company that uh, manufactured Cuba, Cuba Aliados back in the day and they were based in Honduras. So long story short, Too late. Uh, the re-release, uh, they wanted to feature Honduran tobacco. So the, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Uh, so the name original blend, it's a little mis, not, I don't know if misleading is the right word, but just a little, it's a little convoluted. Uh, when asked about why they call this one the original blend, um, Oliva mentioned that it was based on the original Cuban version of Cuba Aliados, not the original Cuba Aliados made in Honduras. And then the, uh, the, the guy who ran Piros Indios back in the day, Orlando Reyes, total industry legend, RIP. But um, he was, um, uh, uh, what, what's, what's it, what, quoted, quoted saying he doesn't really use that much Honduran tobacco. But he was based in Honduras. And a lot of people say like, no, he used Honduran tobacco. So it, no one really knows for sure exactly what uh, the main tobacco is that they used in Cubialados, but the reason this one is called Original Blend is because it's based on the original Cuban version. Is this like Cubialados. the whole new Coke, original it's, Coke? It's exhausting. I mean, okay. as I'm explaining this, I am, I am, my mouth is tired. It wants to take a nap. And um, so let's, let's I'll stop talking. <laughs> it's hurting you. It's killing it? me. Yeah, killing <laughs> All right, well, um, all joking aside, why don't you open that yes. up? Yeah, yeah. Use your, nice. use your knife that's stained in your own blood at this point. I'm going to question the decisions I've made in my life up to this point. That's fair. But uh, this one is billed as, uh, as, and I have smoked this one. I, I haven't smoked the um, Cuba Aliados by uh, EPC yet, uh, but I have smoked this one. It is medium bodied. It has a nice creaminess to it. Uh, very little spice, but a nice kind of coating um, uh, uh, effect on the on the palate. I love that when a, when a cigar has that. Right, Mary. I feel like it it hits all the spots that it's supposed to hit. A little sweet, a little salt, a little um, um, spice. It's a little bit of spice, uh, but just a really nice, balanced, enjoyable smoke. Medium bodied. It's it's one of those cigars that you can truly smoke at any point of any day, of any week. Of any year. Keep stalling. Gotta regret asking you <laughs> okay. once again. Um, 
But uh, this if you one don't is, let me do it, I won't get any better. This blend is a Honduran Puro, so it's utilizing all Honduran tobaccos, wrapper, binder, filler, all long filler, of course. This looks familiar. Oh, yeah. It's bigger. So it's like the same type of um, art that's used on the um, Cuba Aliados by the smaller package. Uh, that joke is going to get old. I don't know what you're talking it. about. Oh, I ripped it. Talking a boot? It's fine. I it's fine. It. Just, it's fine. It. I ripped it. I'm fired. Oh. I've let it rip at work numerous times. Oh, is that what that is? Because it's yeah. been bad the last couple of days. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> holding my, you know, anyway, anyway. Hold, can you hold your breath now? That'd be great. <laughs> but uh, really, really nice. This is the, what size is it you ask? This is the Regordo. What size is it? Regordo, mm -hmm. not to be confused with Gordo. Regordo, six by 60. Yeah, I, I've, I've never, I've never seen the term Regordo before. But yeah, so I, I like it. I like it. We had to gourd it again, so we regordoed it. <laughs> it's double, double wide, double. It's kind of, it's longer than your average cigar. Is yeah. It well, no, it's not, not really longer or thicker. It's a six really? by sixty. It's a six by sixty. It's a it's very a little bigger than usual. Very. Thin. Is this another joke? Is no, it, oh, no, okay. I'm actually <laughs> trying to be, never. Oh, sorry. It's all right. I can take anything I say seriously. Yeah. But uh, no, six by sixty. It's a, it's, a, it's bigger than the last cigar we looked okay. at. Okay, yeah, that's why it feels so. That's probably why. But um, but Honduran Puro, all Honduran tobaccos. Um, I smoked the. I want to say I smoked the Robusto or the Toro size. Um, I bet you this size, the six by sixty, is probably the smoothest of the line. Okay. Um, you could probably smoke this all day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this is like I I, I feel like this is a great beginner cigar. Uh, for someone that's um you mean for like strength yeah strength wise but also also um the kind of um enjoy the enjoyability of it um it, it doesn't have a lot of like spikes all okay right? all right so it's not super spicy it's not super chocolatey it's not super creamy it, it doesn't have you know a lot of any one thing it's very balanced mm -hmm. very even keeled and i just feel like someone that you know has a sensitive palate <laughs> you know might appreciate this one more than some other blends out there that's, that's all i'm saying not a lot of pepper not a lot of sweet mm -hmm. it's just very very even killed hits everything um and yeah i I'm, I'm a big fan of honduran tobacco too you go back in fact an assignment for you i would like you tonight to go back and watch all the videos i've done over okay. the past two years i've already I, done I, it there's only like you've watched all the videos i've watched a lot of them yeah well then you should know that i'm always no. gushing about honduran tobaccos on this video on these videos. Yes. I'm always like, oh, you might not know this. I like Honduran tobacco. The next video, I'm like, oh, guess what? I like Honduran tobacco. Like a broken record. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, Honduran Puro, uh, Julio Arroya, who is, in my opinion, a master of, of tobacco. Truly, truly one of the industry's finest. And uh, Oliva Cigars at the helm of the whole thing, the whole project. So looks great, looks great, smokes great, tastes great. Everything's great. You should try it. Make me want one. Well, why don't you take this one out? Okay, there you go. It's mine now. Yep. Uh, just put it on Sam's belt. Okay. Until next time, smoke something good. Hit that like button. Jesus. Smack it even. <laughs>